Good evening, everyone. This is Panda from Foxy Panda's Playhouse, and I want to talk to you tonight, just for a brief moment, about drugs. About how to, how you can spot someone you may know who are on drugs. A couple nights ago, Foxy and I were just sitting here at home, and we heard some very disturbing, uh, horrific, Halloween-y type of music being played super loud. I, that was coming from the other apartment building. Um, so I decided to record some of it because I used to have a relative who was heavy in drugs. Unfortunately, that person has passed away now, but I just wanted to uh, give you a few tips, a few things to look out for, so that way your relatives or your friends, your loved ones, whoever, does not go down that path because it is a very dark, a very dangerous, a very sad path. So uh, my first tip is to always be engaging. And what I mean by that is have conversations, meaningful conversations with people who you suspect may be heavy drug users. Just act normal. Don't act shady. Don't act like you think there's something wrong with them because you don't know the full story. And that could come off as very off-putting to that person, which will have them uh, withdraw from any type of socialization, or socializing, excuse me, or any type of uh, meaningful conversation with you, or towards advocates or people who could help them eventually get better. So once again, be engaging. Tip number two, you need to, and this is going back to uh, what Foxy and I witnessed a couple nights ago, you need to be aware of their activities when they're alone in their bedroom, I guess. That sounds kind of weird, but uh, let, let me try to elaborate on that. If you hear any type of odd sounds or movement, or just loud music, whether it be obscene or very uh, uplifting, random, or, or just a whole bunch of sound effects that doesn't make a lot of sense, that's a big, big hint that that person is, is on something. Uh, most of the times it's probably meth, but the person is definitely on something, and that's when you need to step in and get them help. And finally, tip number three. If you've known this person for a good amount, uh, I'll just say, I don't know, six months or more. In my case, I'd known, I had known this relative for many years of my life, ever since I was young, and this person was, was very different back when I knew them before they were excessive in their drug use. So if you've known the person for quite a while, you begin to notice a difference in actions that they take, little quirks that they develop that do not really fit quite right with their character. When you notice these types of things, that's when you need to be very careful of how you respond to them, especially when they're on the drugs. Uh, one false move can lead to many, many bad things, which I won't mention here, but uh, once again, just always be mindful. I guess that's the best way to put it. Be mindful of their actions, of their character. If their character changes gradually over time, then you can have a sense that they're not using hardcore stuff right away. Maybe they're doing it in a secession type. Maybe they're experimenting. You don't know. We don't know. But if their characteristic turns right away, if, if it's just, if it does a 180 overnight, then there's a good possibility that they are heavy in some type of uh, methamphetamine or any other drugs that may do that, which I don't know enough about to describe to you in this video, but I do know for a fact that uh, when a person is listening to loud music at least, extremely loud so that basically the whole neighborhood can hear in the middle of the night, uh, for whatever reason, for, for a random reason, just an off the wall reason, that person will be on some type of methamphetamine. I promise you that. To end this video, it's, it may, yeah, I'm gonna end this video by showing you a well, not showing, allowing you to listen to the recording that I took a couple nights ago. It'll be edited a little bit just so you can hear the, the most disturbing parts uh, that we heard. Once again, this is, this is serious. People die from this, from drug overdose, from drug miscon um, abuse, from drug abuse all the time. Every year, every day, someone dies from this stupid, stupid stuff. So please be mindful of these uh, these tips that I just provided you and just use caution if you believe
that someone is a drug, uh, heavy drug user. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have and I hope you have a good night. Excuse me, I'm I'm stuttering a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we just recorded uh, the the other epic deal segment a couple minutes back. But uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed my tips. I hope you stay safe. And for those of you who happen to be watching this, who are heavy drug users, please, 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 please find help. You're not alone. We may not understand what you're going through right now, but there's someone out there who can help you. Get help before it's too late. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.